All right, so here we go. I put some music from African music though, so because I don't want any copyrighted content on my video, you know. So what it is is, so here it is. So on there you can see that you got the sound, the ti the artist, and then the title, and then you can actually select everything. Oh, I wish I don't want. I wonder if I can. I cannot modify here. That side would be great if I could modify it just there. That would be just fantastic. And you can drag and drop any folder here or use button below. And uh, man, Virtual DJ is pretty cool, man. I'm gonna make it full screen and see what's going on. So I got all the music there. I can scroll through it like that. So let's press play and see what's gonna happen. okay oh yeah that's a crazy man I know okay the music is not playing so maybe I have to turn this on first huh? okay I get it. Whoa, ho ho ho. All right, so let's go into the options and try to set the external mixer, the Denon mixer, uh, into so Denon DNX. And down DNX. Okay, just that's just to try and see what's gonna happen. So let's go and well, like look, I just came on top of that song. I didn't even load it, and ah, oh, yeah, that's the way it work with uh, the fat, slow start. And I load this one. Ebbird.com. Okay, listen that. In Virtual DJ, you can choose the direction of loop when using loop for XP. I don't know what I mean yet. The traditional way is ahead, ahead where you set your loop in point and hope the coming part of the song is what you want to loop and what it will sound. Look back mode instead of loop what you just heard. Here is how you set loop endpoint by instantly jump back and loop those bits. Oh, really? Man, this is crazy, man. So you got a little little tutorial going on at the same time when you're using Virtual DJ. I don't really know what to just say, but that's already cool anyway. Just the software is trying to tell you what to do. So I think that's pretty cool. So make you understand more uh, what is in the in the you know what's the what's the software is about. You start to get a bit more feedback from the software. I think that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. So if I put another song here, uh, you know I haven't done anything. Yo, this is like. Deck zero one. This is deck zero two. The only thing I miss is in my virtual DJ seven point 
point zero point four. I have the artist name and everything here, you know, everything was just there on the screen. But at this stage, I don't have it. I missed that. I think that's pretty, that was pretty cool. And it worked perfect. Up I go. Yeah, man, Visual DJ, the layouts, man. Everything is cool. I haven't played with it yet, yet so I can't really do crazy stuff like I was doing on my previous uh, thing. And I think that before I start using this, I would just remap everything I have here to try to control all these little things around, you know, and also change the MIDI bank. Uh, look at that. When I press the MIDI bank, I got FX coming. <laughs> Oh shit. Holy crap, man. <laughs> man. Famous. Oh, that's the old school stuff. Oh. Oh man, I just triggered through three things at the same time. Man, that's crazy. And then they, they already map. So I can trigger the sample. The oh man. Man, if I could scroll through. That would be just great, man. You just, just, just imagine if you have something that you can use to just select between them, man. That would be good. You got me in a video coming out of with it, you know. Three, two, one. Man, that's great. Three, two, one. And then you start your video at the same time, man. Just, man, this is the shit, man. Virtual DJ is going to kick ass, man. That's the, no joke. That's the video side. That's the scratch side, you know. Man, this software is gonna kick ass. I mean, I don't know. I can't. I haven't played with it yet. You can see, just I'm just discovering Virtual DJ 8 with you. Man, there are so many things I don't know yet. You know, you got your limiter up here, and uh, you know, I don't even know what that, what all that. Uh, you know, man. I mean, this is just different, man. I think you can zoom through the. Zoom, zoom. Man, this is. Clone deck straight away, bit lock between them, mute reverse, synchronization, custom, digital is used by Andrew Minnesota. However, which of had a button for this button for a reaction reverse tempo, master tempo, podcast, and everything. Man. Man, custom button. I really don't know, man. So you can custom and put your stuff there to add some extra stuff. Man, Virtual DJ is the shit, man. So like, you know, I want to add extra stuff that I want Virtual DJ to do that your Virtual DJ doesn't do, man. I just go and customize my shit 
and then I put it here and I select it and then just my my stuff changed the way they behave you know depending of what I've selected what man this is cool this is cool man this is better than Serato DJ this is I mean the sounds is great man I mean you can't you can't blame you can't say this this sound is shit man I mean you can't you can't say this sound is shit there is no way oh sorry That's maybe a little bug there that I just found. Is that is that what a little bug? That was just buggy there, right? While while I try to scroll through the the thing, something just happened. Something funny just happened. I don't know what it is. Or unless I did something, I pressed something. Like if I put two pack there, because oh look at that, it get the artwork. You know, the things, they put the dear year and everything. Man, that's cool. So you know actually what you're playing. You know, so if I go. Well, that was a bug because the the software actually crashed and forgot that my mixer was the actual, uh, was the actual, uh, set up so it came back to building yeah that's uh, that's a little that's a little buggy day and then we got the denix back so maybe it's not time to use it for uh i'm gonna say that um so it's not, gonna be, it's not gonna be time to use it for gigs man it's just maybe it just is on the testing side of the Oh, I see what they mean. So you see, I just I did the the loop, and then I went to select another side of the the of the sound, and it keep looping and grading at the same time on the same, you know, the same length and everything, and it's gonna be a perfect loop. Let's try to press play and see. Yeah, it's a loop. It's a loop. I reduce it. Uh, yeah it's a perfect it's a perfect loop perfect loop doesn't matter where I go it's gonna loop again so okay I think that's all I can do at this stage I don't know virtual DJ much I found a little bug but Anyway, it's just a trying and sh show you that there is a new layout, there is a new everything. The software is pretty cool, but at this stage, I would recommend anyone to just use the version, that version 7.0.4, because especially if you have this, this gears, this Denon, because actually you don't envy anything. I mean, it's pretty much the same uh, sound engines, I guess, I hope so, I think. Uh, you know, it sounds pretty good, and so I don't think you lose anything if you want to do some gig. You know, this is what I'm talking about. You see, I got two pack scandals there, and if I scroll through my stuff, you know, I get everything. You know, I new drink, I I I I new drink, I I new drink, I I I I. I, 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 so you know I like this because it worked perfect and it's pretty good it's very accurate 7.0.4 but I don't know man you can try the, the the new virtual DJ is beautiful but I think it's gonna be a bit buggy until until everything is quite fixed properly you know but now you can see this one I cannot see what I'm playing I don't know the you know the name and thing but I think that's the that's the only <laughs> I think that's the only downside of it, but pretty much most of it is pretty cool. You can remap it the way you want. You can, you know. You know, you can do whatever you want with it. It's pretty cool, man. 
I like it, but I think when I went full screen and then it changes the bit, you had a little bit of a, something happened and then you don't want that on a gig, okay? You don't want it on a gig. Anyway, it was a presentation of Virtual just uh, 8. And guys, man, you got a Mac, you got Virtual DJ today. I think you rock, man, for 